creating reports. Once you've downloaded your session, uh, you can create a PDF report within seconds. Simply select the session and the participant, the players that you wish to report on. Click report, generate session. You then have the option to pick from your uh, configured report templates. And this will bring up your PDF. To save this report, simply click the button on the top left. Select QD QPDF Writer. Uh, choose the destination where you want to save the report and click Save. If you want to do a report for a specific group of players, um, you can just select that group from your player groups on the left. So for example, player group A, then click Report, Generate. I want to select my player group A report template and with three clicks I have a report for just that player group. To see if again just click top left, QPDF writer, name your report, and save wherever you want. To assign a player or group of players to a new group, simply right click on an individual player, assign to new group. You can name that group, whether it's by position or squad. Or, or training group. Then have the option to select the other players that you want to assign to that group. You can do this by selecting one and popping it across or selecting multiple players and adding them all at once. If you then press save, you'll see that that player group appears in the player tab on the left hand side. If you want to then add another player to that group at a later stage, you can just right click on that player assign to and you'll see that that player group comes up as an option select now player 18 is also a member of player group a as you can see here once you've created a player group you can then use that group um, to analyze only those players that means that you can analyze um, and compare players within against those of, of the same position group. So for example, at the moment I'm looking at all participants for this session, but if I want to look at just the players in group A, when I click player group A, you'll see that the chart in the middle um, changes to just those players. You can now create multiple PDF uh, templates. If you go reports and configure reports, you'll see a screen that allows you um, to create a number of different uh, templates for different positional groups or different squads um, as you wish. To create and um, to change the order of the reports, you simply drag and drop any of the metrics. So if you want to move one closer to the top, or for example, move meter per minute down, you just drag and drop. You then have the options to put on um, thresholds for all metrics or for just an individual metric. Average again for all metrics or for just an individual metric. Um, numbers um, to show values above the graph, um, again, for all metrics or by individual metric, and also zero-based um, graphs for all metrics or individual metrics. Zero-based just means that the graph will start at a scaled-up uh, number to make it easier to compare between values. So if, for example, you're comparing values of six, seven, eight thousand meters against each other, the graph may start at five to make those differences um, more obvious. Um, you also have the option to upload Club Crest 
um, if you just have that saved in a folder on your on your computer, uh, you can upload that from there. Um, to create a new template, simply simply add the, new, the name of the of the new report that you want to create. Make the changes that you wish. So, if for example, I want to add custom metric bone to this report, and also average metabolic power, I can then press save. And you now see that my drop down. I've got player group A added to my reports. Then press save, and those reports will be saved and are there at, uh, to use at the click of a button.